Good morning, folks. We've got some interesting science to hit today. A cyclone, dam failure, exoplanets, and learning a little something from Pluto. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours brought the bright active fields further along their rotations, while the darker coronal hole signatures we were seeing on the south are visibly diminishing as they turn through as well. The solar wind intensification that we saw yesterday morning has begun to wane. The speed is still riding high in purple, but as plasma density drops out in orange, we are seeing that sparse stream have a lowered disturbance effect on the magnetic field of Earth. Folks, Cyclone Amphan is at the coast of India right now, and from rough seas to extreme wind and rainfall to the lightning, millions are either evacuated or hunkered down as the storm rushes inland today. Lightning struck this palm tree and made a torch in the night. Meanwhile, this is the scene shot by Ryan Coletto over the Edenville Dam breach in Michigan. It is emptying Wixom Lake now. Other dams in the region are also a concern. That lake is expected to be gone by the end of the day today. Speaking of cyclones and too much rain, a new study is showing now that hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones are all getting stronger. Their observations of the fact are quite plain, but their explanation is a bit more interpretive. They say that it is a potential consequence of a warming world, but given that we have officially begun seeing weather pattern changes largely tied to the geomagnetic excursion at Earth, and given the ongoing nature of that excursion right now and the fact that pressure cell intensification, including tropical storms, is one of the things we'd look for under such a scenario, I might humbly offer that there may be another explanation for these intensifications. Let's take a quick look at some baby planets in PSD 70. This is yet another independent confirmation that we have managed some newborn photos of this planetary pair. Big babies too. They will be gas giants soon enough. And speaking of exoplanets, their collisions and various other aspects about nearby exoplanets were two of Sophia's top 10 discoveries so far, according to a recent NASA article. Also included were the discovery of helium hydride, the first molecule in the universe, stellar feedback on nearby star formation, how magnetic fields affect the evolution of galaxies, including how they keep some galactic nuclei quiet, while others are fueled by the fields for a major show. It spotted the building blocks of life, the birth of massive stars near the galactic center, and the dust created in the deaths of those stars. But noticeably absent from this list is what observers identify as its number one discovery. Traditional models claimed gravity alone controlled star formation and star cluster formation, but plasma turbulence and magnetic fields are shown to control those processes to a degree unthinkable before. I've put both NASA's top 10 list and the observer's number one, both in the link list today. Now last but not least, we're off to Pluto and back to this magnetic field idea. We're finding more than a 20% decrease in atmospheric pressure in just the last couple of years at Pluto. After initial hypotheses said its atmosphere might collapse after its perihelion in 1989, it continued to increase its atmospheric pressure even through the 2015 stellar occultation view. But since that time, everything has changed. The trend has reversed to a major degree and the planet is now purging atmospheric pressure at an incredible rate. It is too fast to be explained by cooling of the atmosphere into ices that fall onto the surface, but given that we've seen weather changes indicative of the other planets undergoing magnetic changes like the Earth is, and given that the change of a magnetic field can have dramatic effects on atmospheric loss, one cannot help but wonder if this is finally the last sign in the solar system planets of those changes. Folks, in our Cosmic Disaster 2020 playlist, which is linked for you directly below this video, you can find everything about this ongoing story, but for the examination specifically of the other planets in our system and some of the nearby stars going off as warning signals to us, find the Signs in the Sky Now video. This playlist can answer just about every question I've ever received on the magnetic flip Micronova, and major evidence now and in the past. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.